What's up? This is Keith Kelfis. Hope you're doing awesome. In this video, in this vlog, what you call it, I'm going to my yearly annual coffee meetup with my good friend, Mr. Chris Taylor. We only hang out once a year and we get coffee one time a year. That's our, that's our plan is to get coffee one time a year and then we talk about success and everything that we've, 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 been, we've been trying to accomplish. walking in now so it's like the second I pull to my coffee meeting clients keep calling and calling and calling it's a good problem to have but it's interesting so they want three trees removed an hour away we don't even travel it's over an hour so we're, we might go out in the snow tomorrow and move these trees but it's gonna be the price that I want or I don't even want anything to do with that shit you know inconvenient money is where the money's at but not stupid money, right? What do you gotta get? What up, though? Hey, edit. You gotta shake my hand. <laughs> Vlog life right there. So, dude is a real estate extraordinaire. I'm not even lying, bro. So, can I tell you? Chris Taylor. Real estate all-star. Real estate all-star, for Howard sure. Howard Detroit. Yeah, and... So he's sitting here scheduling a closing right now, and he's gonna get all these people in the same place. And he's talking about one of these alumni. Every time they can't, he can't make a date with somebody he knows, they will give an excuse and they have to talk on the phone. What I'm getting from this is, like, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to hear any excuses. Tuesday doesn't work. Does Wednesday work? What about this Thursday at 4 p.m.? And I wondered why, when in my younger years, when I was so broke and I couldn't find opportunities is because I was so caught up in the victim story of why something wouldn't work for my self-esteem issues and I would he's, try to... He's calling again. He's calling again. No, no. You don't need that. that. And it was because of my hey, own up? my own victim story and I would have to tell people to no. get validation and people would run. Nope. So, anything that is dead weight yeah, or anything that is an anchor, you gotta cut it, it's gotta go. And the same goes for other people that you wanna work with. If they feel that you're a dead weight or you're an anchor at all, the opportunity is you gotta boom. You, like, the opportunity doesn't wait for the unprepared, right? When the window opens, you jump through it. And, it's, yeah. and you go, oh, so if you do all the quick, quick, quicks, you can make the, you can make them all super, you can all make them all super, super fast clips if you have that narration over the top. You know what I'm saying? Ah, okay. Because then the brain goes into a hypnotic mode, so they got all the visuals, which is really fast. And then you've and then got the, the audio coming in. And it was the song too. It was the song, and yes. then the little bit of talking that he does. It's like the perfect. It's a perfect video. But I mean, it's Gary Vaynerchuk. It's D Rock. Yeah. If you don't know what you follow D Rock. If you don't know anything, you follow D Rock. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. He literally downloaded like. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna download, download. a badass YouTube video and then. Go and edit it. And myself. then edit it yourself and look at that. What you How got, many clips? That's the schematics. Bo, 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 bo. That's the full schematics. And then you and then take notes on. Oh, that's the schematics. It's just what it is. That's their schematic. That's the and you blueprint. go. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a videographer. You know what I mean? I'm a realtor. But if I if I study people that are doing it well, do it with a Casey Neistat. Do it with a Gary Vaynerchuk and just. Download it, put it in your director, and then isolate every single clip and look how they tell that story. And it's it's just cheating, man. It's the way to go. <laughs> do, do what the really good people are doing. You know, I mean, that's it. And the, the best part, though, yeah. like I can sit here and tell you this, and you know what I'm doing, and it's not that impressive. But to the person that doesn't know what you're doing, they think you're amazing. You yeah. know what I mean? Because they're like, wow, you do amazing work. No, I really just look at Gary Vaynerchuk's videos, do the same thing, and nobody copy. else. And, dude, copy it. Like on a local level, absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not Gary Vaynerchuk. You know what I'm saying? So like for what I'm doing, I want to make cool videos for my local business. They don't know it's a Gary Vaynerchuk schematic, a D-Rock schematic. They have you know no what I mean? idea. Just copy. Uh -huh. Find find what good people are doing and copy them. Bro, on some real shit. What, what part you made this? a lot of money last year, but say, say it real quick, just Oh, I know which part, bro. Hey, dude, you said that last year he, he grinded like crazy last oh, year, about, shooting videos about. for his business. A lot of shit went his way yeah, this you want me to year. Whole thing? Yeah. Okay. No, I was just saying that 2016 was a record year for us, and uh, everything went everything went fantastic. And then 2017, we kind of got away from the things that got us. You did advanced. seven and a half million in homes. So. Yeah, we we sold about seven and a half million in homes. Uh, about 30, 37 transactions for about seven and a half million dollars which in this area, it's top 5%. And um, 
that was 2016, and everything that I did in 2015 led up to 2016. So all the videos that I was producing in 2015 created that momentum so that I had a Monster 2016. But then when you have a Monster 2016, you get away from the things that you were doing. So doing all those videos, kind of got away from it, got away from that hustle. And now this year, I'm down, and I'm, I'm down about a million and a half, which isn't terrible. Um, but it's, it's about 45,000 in commissions. So how do you how do you mentally get through that, that you didn't do the work to produce? But you said just a couple, a couple transactions fell off. Yeah. And not only did it make a huge difference in the outcome, but it crushed you. Yeah, so and you were like, so I down about a million and a half this year, which sounds like a big number, but it was really about three or four transactions that just didn't go my way. I had I had a guy that you know I worked with for six months. One Saturday, I couldn't help him, and he went out and bought a three hundred fifty thousand dollars house with somebody else. You know, so that's again that's an eleven thousand dollars hit that I just took compared to last year. You know, the year before I had you know in, in twenty sixteen I had an eight hundred thousand dollars house. You know, it's a huge twenty five thousand dollars commission. That's not normal for this area. So of course, of course, so know, just two or three it's deals. A numbers game is a hustle game. It's an emotional intelligence game and, and that's the big part is when somebody does that to you, you you put all this effort into them you work with them for six months and then one time one time you can't take care of them and they go somewhere else and that's you know you want to choke people you're like <laughs> and then and then to make it worse though they do that and then they unfriend you on Facebook that's where I draw the line draw the line no, it's tough <laughs> three hours of intense conversation. When we get together once a year, it's like No, no, do this. Watch this. No, 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 this is. We only need to hang out once a year. And we said, he said, he's like, Keith, I think we need to up, we need to up our friendship game. I think we need to hang out twice a year. And we started laughing. He's like, well, quarterly. And I was like, quarterly? I don't want to hang out with your ass quarterly. Missing cheese. Oh no, we put cheese on it. Yeah, there's me. cheese on the tacos. Yeah, making them homemade tacos, man. It's like my favorite thing to eat. Something about homemade tacos. Because you can put your own ingredients and make them. Oh, look at that dog. Oh my God. Yeah, we're at dinner now already, so. Mm. Okay, we're gonna eat dinner and you're not gonna watch because this is date night. Maybe I'll make one little clip but that's all you get i'm sorry i know it's date night and we're gonna watch a movie but peter mckinnon uploaded a new video now honey when are you gonna be done folding the laundry i put away my portion of the laundry that's my dog so we've got like six, seven inches of snow and I started like shoveling it. And I was like, why would I shovel it when I got a BR700 backpack blower right here? This thing's a beast. Oh, look at all this equipment. The badass CS500 by Echo. Oh, that's the best chainsaw I've ever used, period. Better than any steel, I promise you. I've still, I've reviewed that. I know I'm just showing this stuff real quick. Stuff by Echo and Echo Weed Whip. Um, I still have to review that. Milwaukee toolboxes. This is all stuff that they've sent me. Thank you so much, Milwaukee, for these beautiful toolbox. But enough of the commercial stuff. I'm gonna fire up this BR700 backpack bar, blow this, and then stop by my wife's work and blow off her car for her because she gets off work in a little bit and bring her coffee as well. <laughs> we got this little gate here so our little dogs can't run out. One almost ran out in the street twice and almost got by a car. And I said, I'm buying a gate, right? I don't have any earmuffs. Wait, I do have earmuffs. Oh, oh, Echo User Advisory Group. And we have earmuffs. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want to. You know you make me feel so alive. Pack blower wasn't given to me. Somebody works for me put straight gas through mine and blew it up like the first week I bought it. So I had to buy this. 
Man, it's really snowing out here, isn't it? All right, let's go. Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane. 24 twice. She's on the phone. Might ask a question. Might be fake. No, I'm literally just being happy and practicing not letting low vibrations. You can feel when something tries to hook and pull you down and cutting all that stuff. See, cutting all that stuff, cutting it all off, man. I'm actually gonna run and get my hair cut real quick first because when I start getting this gray sticking out on the sides, man, some insecurities, bro, man, getting old is scary. But wisdom, I hope the wisdom comes. All right, so my hair's cut. Look at this fade, though. Look at this fade. It's all crispy hash fade. It's all my... I need a fade. You try a bald fade. Just, I, I dare you if you do get your hair cut. Boring. What can I get for you? I, uh, medium, triple, triple. No more sugar for me, or very little sugar. Cutting back on the sugar. Sugar's poison, man. And I'm not saying I don't eat sugar anymore, I'm just saying that I'm, when I have the willpower, I consciously cut back. So I like, couldn't get a hold of my wife and I got her a coffee anyways and I rolled by her work to blow the- The battery died! Ah, watch this. I know you're excited, but that will be in the next video. By the way, this entire video, including the voiceover and sound effects, was done on my cell phone, an LG V30, while sitting in my bed next to my dog. <laughs> See? If I could be real as shit with you right now, I fucking love it. YouTube, we're in the future right now. We're sitting here, lucky, you're holding your phone in your hand right now. What up, though? This is amazing. I was the kid running around being called a weirdo with a camera. So if you ever wanted to start a YouTube channel, don't let, don't let it hold you back. <laughs>